feeling like playing some music. You know, I'm gonna hit the head before we get started. Oh, we got a. We're about to get started, though. We're about to get started, though. You know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, and we're live. And we are live right here on Camera Jams. Get those, uh, get those cans on your ears, man. Yeah. You hear me over there? Howdy, World Wide Web. Camera Jams is trying something new, us. But we're happy to be here and we're ready to rock. My name's Lonesome Dave Fisher, Robert Curley, Kevin Nunley, Mad Dog Mike Minnick. We're gonna give you some, the finest tunes we can originate right here in this intimate setting. Here's one called American Dream.
Thank you very much, guys. guys. We're filming this uh, on the outskirts of Denver, Colorado, in the lovely burg of Arvada. I'm a recent, recent uh, Coloradan. Uh, I'm from, born in Waco, Texas. I was a little kid in San Antonio, Texas. Spent most of my adult life in Austin, but for a very brief period of time, my daddy had to ride that hillbilly highway up from up from Texas all the way to Detroit, Michigan to get a job. He didn't like it much up there. I didn't care too much for it either. But there were a lot of good shows to go to. Here's a song about, about being a kid in the wrong place. Detroit, Texas. City in a ghetto full of hillbillies. Half dig old boy dearly missed his Texas home. Loved a girl named Gina, but nothing ever come between them. Except his love of rambling down the roads there are to roam. So he shot pool with her cousins, pretending that he wasn't. Exactly the kind of boy that would go and look a gift horse in the mouth. They all said he talked funny, his daddy didn't make enough money, and the cold Detroit winters made him miss the Texas sun. That town was sad against him. Nobody cared in Detroit, and Gina was the only one. Mustang, little black mustache. Gina did our boy wrong, like the words to a country song. He headed right back to Texas, where the bands played Johnny Cash. He headed right back to Texas, where the bands still play Johnny Cash. It's always good to name drop Johnny Cash. You got to do that early in a set. That's that's the secret. <laughs> worldwide, worldwide. Give me just a minute to wet my whistle. world of G-strings, I like one that's nice and tight. Hey. Mad Dog Mike Minnick. Mad Come Dog on. Mike on all kinds of support. Drums and moral support. It's the most important thing about comedy, timing. Come on. Timing. Here's a song that's uh, 
It's on my CD called Rockabilly Ramblers and Texas Travelers. Look, look me up on uh, www.lonesomedayfisher.com. It'll lead you right to, right to all my streams. CD if you're so inclined. This song's called Wild Boy. I'd like to, uh, I'd like to play this song for Gus and Milo. Let's shuffle it, okay? A one, a two, three. <laughs> I drove a truck through the middle, Blue Shack's farm. Had a tattoo of Texas on my arm. I tried to dress like Presley, sing like Cash. I fought like a demon when they called me trash. Thought I was a fighter and a lover too. I wasn't much neither, but what could I do? Jams, thank you for having us. Of I didn't, didn't notice if uh, on any of the other streams if anyone name dropped Logan. Logan Firth is our host, turning the knobs, lighting up the room. Camera jams, folks. Living behind the stage area here, which is my living room. I feel good in this living room. This is a nice living room. There's a lot of positive vibes, so they say. They're in the couch. The positive vibes are in the couch. Oh, I'll have to run on the couch because I'm trying to throw out the couch. It's dirty. If you like songs that go boom, chicka, boom, this song is going to go boom, chicka, boom. I wrote this song 
for my sweet, beautiful girlfriend. And uh, so I wrote it quite a long time ago. But now that sweet, beautiful girlfriend is my sweet, beautiful wife. I don't know if the song had anything to do with it or not, but... Uh, accept it or you can think better of it <laughs> either way it's out there it is out there I'd like to point out that this Gretsch guitar is entirely hollow no center block <laughs> therefore it's one of those things that requires tuning in between each song. And I do it because I care. Thank you.
I wrote this song for my big brother. I miss him a lot. He used to have a job on a really cool radio station in Austin, Texas called KOKE. It was the first country station in, in the country that pretty much just played like Waylon and Willie, and Sleep at the Wheel. They'd throw in a little Bob Dylan and stuff like that. And I was living in Austin, I guess I was about six, while he was a DJ on that station. And I'd sit, in, sit in my bed with my little transistor radio, and, uh, you know, a lot of the time, he didn't come home after his shift, so I started turning the, turning the dial, trying to figure out what else to listen to on the radio, and I was telling my brother about that, and he was like, man, you know, you need to check out uh, WLS out of Chicago and KWKH out of Shreveport and the, uh, I can't think of the all-night station out of... New Orleans right now, but those were the only AM stations that played all night, you know. And uh, so as a little kid, besides getting to hear all the outlaw country on uh, the station that my dad and my brother worked on, I got to hear, you know, bluegrass, truck driver music, blues, and that's all because of my brother, my big brother Lee. Perception. 
station standing by the record machine. Thank you for following me there, guys. Thank you. That's a debut, folks. That is a debut. I've been looking forward to pulling that one out of my back pocket. This is a tough one. This is a tough one. It's about some very serious lyrical matter here. Through the genre of rockabilly, you can address all kinds of things, all kinds of matter of Americana. The matter that we're about to address is the uh, topic of milkshakes. Milkshakes. I like milkshakes. I'm lactose intolerant. I don't know what they call them when they eat milkshakes. Not a moo shakes. Not a milkshake. Coconut shakes. I'm 
like a mamba All shiny and black Straps across my back, reach out and strike you. You go passing me by, tell you I'm deadly. You ain't too young to die, cause I'm poison. Cobra Up under my hood Anti-venom It won't do you a bit of good I'm like a viper Spitting venom in your eyes Tread on me Don't you tread on me Songs about milkshakes, songs about snakes. That's, you come to me for those, folks. All right, this is, uh, this is another debut, and I'm looking forward to it. Instead of doing all the stuff off the first album, I decided that we had to, had to whip out something special for this, so. Oh, 
done We only get so long to get it done somehow If I'm gonna do it, man, I better do it now No slowing down Y'all see me coming Rolling into town gently into that last call. You got the stops at the beginning and the end where angels feared to tread. A long time ago, when I was a younger fella, I had a talk with my dad. He told me that uh, if I was gonna play music, I was always gonna be unhappy with the results. I guess he probably spoke from experience. You know, generally speaking, I'm a pretty happy guy. I can see what he was talking about. He liked to tell stories. Well, on the outskirts of town, beyond the city lights, just past with a highway next to van. You can find me walking in the middle of the night, thinking of the words my daddy said, walking where the angels heard the tread. Said he's crazy, must have lost his mind. Don't you listen to the stories that are told? Out there on that highway, daddy showed me where to find the crossroads where the men are sold for souls. Great for music and a treasure.
dog Mike Minnick on the drums. Kevin Nunley on the big bass fiddle. Robert Curley banging the 88 keys. My name is Lonesome Dave Fisher. I like the sound in the headphones. Ain't it nice? My brother used to call them cans. He said, uh, he said, do not spend good money on headphones if you're a disc jockey. Get really bad sounding headphones, then you'll work really hard to make your voice sound cool. He said that was his secret. <laughs> a thing I've noticed about the area of Denver is something that I think it probably shares with Austin. It's been through a whole lot of changes, man, a whole lot of changes. And I was a, a young guy working at the door of a punk rock club in one part of town, a honky-tonk in another part of town down there in Austin. Sometimes I didn't have a car, so I'd uh, hoof it between the two, I'd see so you see a lot more of the town on foot than you see from your windshield. And then I got older and I got a gig as a mailman like, like uh, Bukowski, you know? Uh, redneck Bukowski or something. And I got to go from the poor side of town to one of the very richest parts of town every day. And I'd go back to those bars and it just didn't feel like my town anymore. Here's a little song I wrote. You knew that was coming. Will all day I walk these city streets up on the west side with rich people lay. shouldn't complain no. about walking around all day in the rain. There's folks out there, they got nothing at all. I got pills to ease my pain. Well, all day long I walk around and wonder why the odds go up as the evens go down. used to be my town this used to be my town well I walked the beach at sunrise till my bare feet hurt from the sand I walked through the desert at midnight across a footbridge on the Rio Grande and I know I should not complain about the Driving rain with this sack on my back, I'm just following it. I ain't got no one but me to blame.
always used to be my town town you're in, you're going to feel like that at some point. It's one of those hometown things. Thank y'all for waiting. Want to boost uh, boost camera jams again? Check them out on Facebook if you're just watching uh, on YouTube. I know I shared the link on my Facebook for camera jams, but they got their own Facebook page too. Every click helps. If you just happened to cross us because you were Looking for live music on the web. My name is Lonesome Dave Fisher, and uh, I play a type of music that I call rockabilly. I don't know if every rockabilly would call it rockabilly, but I do. We're just going to do a boogie for you right here.
that's, uh, that's an indicator that we're getting pretty close to the end of a set there, Logan. Word. So here's a, here's a song written for yet another noticeable member of the Fisher family. This song is uh, composed of almost entirely just things that my Uncle PK told me on the telephone. He was a drinking man and he was a gambling man. And uh, when he wasn't gambling, he was drinking. And after he'd be drinking, he'd usually call me on the phone. Uh, last place he lived was Alpine, Texas. I call that the desert rat stage of Uncle PK. He'd call me and uh, just rattle on forever. I couldn't get a word in edgewise. Tell me stories about, uh, oh, Che Guevara and Bob Dylan and all these uh, other people that he claimed to know. He never let the truth get in the way of a good story. But he was uh, drunk as a skunk each time. And one time I was like, man, Uncle Man, uh, you know, you're going to drink yourself into the grave. And he was, uh, took a second, he was like, Brother Dave, let it ride. <laughs> Ever show your hand, let it ride, let it ride, let it ride, brother Dave, let it ride, let it ride, let it ride, let it ride, brother Dave. Cosmic Coyote, let it ride, let it ride, let it ride, brother Dave, let it ride, let it ride, let it ride, let it ride, brother Dave, let it ride, take a ride, Robert. Black and the red comes up, don't play the red or you'll get stuck. Don't you trust your faith in luck, cause the hand of fate don't give. Let it ride, let it ride, let it ride, brother Dave, let it ride, let it ride, let it ride, let it ride, brother Dave, let it ride.
Yesterday was history, tomorrow is a mystery. These words my uncle said to me, Brother Dave, come take a ride with me. Let it ride, let it ride, let it ride, Brother Dave, let it ride, let it ride, let it ride, let it ride, Brother Dave, let it ride. Thank you very much, Camera Jams, for letting us come out and jam. I'm Lonesome Dave Fisher, and thank you for tuning in. Thank you, guys. That was a lot of fun. If you guys enjoyed that, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm sure you've heard that one million times, but our channel does not have the subscriptions that a lot of the other channels do, so it really legitimately does help us. Anyway. Subscribe. Yes. Live, live, live. Where else can you get it? You better do it now. All right, thanks, guys, for watching. Thank Catch us next week.